quickly. I know you've all heard about the low-carb diets, and some of these diets have been around, and are, 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 people have written books about them. Low-carb diet is not the same as no-carb diet, and the, the weakness of some of these diets has been that the suggestion, you don't need any carbohydrates. Remember, carbohydrate is the faster burning fuel, and you need a, a carbohydrates for energy. Now, the fact, the sad fact, that we don't um, exercise as much and we're not as active nowadays, I think, says more about a condition that needs to be adjusted, be more active. Carbohydrates are not much of an issue. I use the example of Lance Armstrong, our famous bicycle racer that had won all of those Tour de France bicycle races. He eats 7,000 calories a day, and the majority, in fact, about 70% of his calories come from carbohydrates. He needs these foods for quick energy. But now we're not Lance Armstrong. In fact, even a growing teenager would not eat 70% of their calories from carbohydrates. About 60% maybe for a growing teenager that's out playing soccer every day. Adults have always been about 50%, 55%. Cutting back on the amount of carbohydrates is going to help you to eat foods that are going to burn a little bit slower. Keep away from those fast-burning carbohydrates in particular. Now, the faster-burning carbohydrates, we talked about glycemic index earlier. Faster-burning carbohydrates are going to be those without fiber, those that are modified, those that are highly processed. A lot of the foods that we buy in our packages today are highly processed. Fiber is taken out. You remember the old saying, the whiter your bread, the sooner you're dead? Well, stay away from white bread. Stay away from processed foods. We need more fiber in our diet, and that's really going to help with carbohydrates.